now we can study Rankine cycle with the help of example uh, so it is example number one in which the given data is a simple Rankine cycle works between pressure 28 bar and 0 0.06 bar the initial condition of the steam being dry saturated calculate the cycle efficiency work ratio and specific steam consumption so here it is very uh, we can say simple uh, Rankine cycle where the steam is dry saturated so if you draw the TS diagram that is looks like that 1 to 2 we already know 1 to 2 is our um, turbine expansion is take place 2 to 3 um, condenser where constant pressure heat rejection 3 to 4 isentropic uh, uh, compression pump is there and 4 5 to 1 it is the constant pressure heat addition or boiler is there so this is the four component is uh, located on TS diagram now here the two pressure is there one is a 28 bar second one is a 0.6 bar so here we can see the 28 bar pressure is our P1 or we simply says that it is a boiler pressure and 0 0.06 bar so 0 0.06 bar is a P2 or it is our condensation condenser pressure so here two values are given and the steam condition is given it is dry saturated steam so it is dry saturated steam so that's why it starts from the saturation curve which is point number one so p1 is given 28 bar and p2 is given 0 0.06 bar so now for uh, calculation of the cycle efficiency work ratio and specific steam consumption we required enthalpy because we know uh, at different point because we know uh, cycle efficiency is equals to W net upon Q1 and we know the W net is WT minus WP and WT and WP equation is H1 minus H2 and WP is HF4 minus HF3 so for the whole calculation of uh, cycle efficiency work ratio and specific steam consumption we require the value of H1, H2, H3, H4 or we can say HF3 and HF4 so that's why for the given condition first we find what is the value of h1 h2 hf3 and hf4 with the help of steam table so now you can see this is the steam table uh, you already know and you already studied about the um, steam table so here our uh, steam is given dry saturated steam so we have to choose the properties of saturated water or dry saturated uh, steam is there so here at the first point the pressure is 28 bar so here the given data for pressure p1 is equals to 28 bar so here you can see the range here not exactly 28 bar is given here the data is given for 25 bar and 30 bar so with the help of uh, some uh, mathematical equation you get the value at 28 bar and if you find the value of uh, uh, um, H and S then uh, you can get from this uh, table so here the table is indicates here this is a pressure line this is a temperature line specific volume saturated liquid saturated vapor internal energy for saturated liquid saturated vapor enthalpy saturated liquid saturated vapor and evaporation and entropy for saturated liquid and saturated vapor so now here you can see the value of uh, uh, at pressure p um, p is equals to um, 28 bar here you get the value of h and s so here here this is the uh, enthalpy line three line one two and three so which value you have to choose from out of three so here you can see this is the uh, at the saturated point so here we know our steam is saturated steam so saturated vapor line so if the liquid then we choose this line but here it is the saturated vapor or saturated liquid so saturated vapor steam so that's why we have to choose this line and at point uh, sorry at 28 bar we choose this value so our value uh, between 25 and 30 bar h1 value is 22802 kilojoule per kg kelvin the same thing the entropy it is also saturated vapor line so we have to choose this column and we get the value between these two 25 and 30 and its value is approximately 6.2104 kilojoule per kg kelvin so here we know the 
only the steam is present this is a saturated form so directly we choose it but at the point 2 or we can say at the condenser pressure p2 is equals to 0.06 bar so at that time the value for a different components is a, a looks like uh, here this is the water and steam both are mixed so we are not using directly the saturated vapor thing so um, at the 0.06 bar we we want to find the value of uh, hf2 or hf3 and its value is 150 1.53 so this is my value of hf saturated liquid saturated fluid so hf value is 150 1.53 and this is the for hfg 2415 so it is the value of 2415 over here and same thing for the entropy so this is the this is all about the internal energy but we have to talk about the enthalpy so this is my value 151.53 and this is my value for hfg and it is 2415 so this is the evaporation state so hfg2 so here this value is indicates hfg this indicates hf and this indicate hg so hf is 151.53 hfg is 2415.9 and hg is 2567.4 so this is uh, for uh, enthalpy now entropy so entropy table you can see over here and this is my sf so it is 0.5210 and hfg2 so here this is my sg not sfg2 so sg is 8.3304 so if you want to find the sfg2 then Uh, um, uh, sg minus hf is you get the value hfg2 so 8.3304 minus 0.5210 so you get value sf g2 it is 0.809 so this is the entropy at point number 2 now volume so specific volume and specific volume is given over here and here you can see this my uh, uh, specific sorry this is a specific volume line and here its value is 1.004 into 10 raised to 3 multiply with the 10 raised to minus 3 so in meter cube so it is minus 3 so it is 0.001 meter cube per kg so you get the value of the different um, component or enthalpy entropy and specific volume at uh, pressure p1 and p2 as shown in the um, property table and you know how to find the Mm, the value from the property table or steam table it is very easy so here from the given data we will get the value of uh, h1 and s1 from the uh, steam table at 28 bar pressure and this this and same thing at uh, condenser pressure or we can say at pressure p2 is 0.06 bar and so value of hf2 is equals to hf3 because this is the same enthalpy level it is this hfg2 sf2 sfg2 and vf so this property or this things we are get from the steam table and you know um, already how to um, see how to how to calculate this value from the steam table now we start from the um, um, this example from the process 1 to 2 so this is isentropic expansion process so this is the isentropic process so this is the entropy at point 1 and 2 remain constant so s1 is equals to s2 we know the this is the thermodynamic relation s1 is equals to s2 s2 means sf2 plus x2 into sfg2 so that's why we have, we know the s1 the value of s1 is 6.2104 put this value over here sf2 and sfg2 sf2 and sfg2 both value is here put over here and you get the final value of x2 so x2 is 0.7 0.728 it means that here uh, somewhere here here in which at x2 means in the condenser inside the condenser the some uh, 72% is uh, steam and remaining are water so this is the indicate the x2 x2 means dryness fraction same thing at point 2 the enthalpy h2 is equals to hf2 plus x2 into hf g2 okay because ultimately we have to find h2 and we are not getting directly the value of h2 from the steam table so we have to use this relation h2 is equals to hf2 plus x2 into hf g2 so here that's why we are find out first of all x2 so hf hf2 we know 151.53 x2 is 0.728 and hf g2 we also know 241 2415.9 so finally we get the value of h2 and the final value of h2 is this so now we have already 
एच वन एच टू एच एफ फोर एच एफ थ्री एच एफ फोर एंड एच एफ थ्री सो ऑल दिस ऑल दिस वैल्यूज आर अवेलेबल विथ हस सो वी कैन वी कैन फाइंड आउट दिस डब्ल्यू टी सो डब्ल्यू टी इज इक्व टू एच वन माइनस एच टू सो पुट एच वन टू एट टू जीरो टू एट जीरो टू एंड एच टू इज वन नाइन वन जीरो पॉइंट ट्वेंटी सेवन सो वी गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ डब्ल्यू टी एट नाइन्टी वन पॉइंट सेवेंटी थ्री किलो जूल पर के जी सो दिस डब्ल्यू टी नाउ डब्ल्यू पी डब्ल्यू पी वी नो एच एफ फोर माइनस एच एफ थ्री बट वी ऑलरेडी नो दिस रिलेशंस एंड दिस रिलेशंस वी आर ऑलरेडी सीन इन द रैंक नाइन साइकिल एज द डब्ल्यू पी इज इक्वल टू एच फोर माइनस एच थ्री इज इज वी एफ इन टू पी वन माइनस पी टू फ्रॉम द थर्मो डायनमिक रिलेशन टी डी एस इज इक्वल टू डी एच माइनस वी डी पी सो वी गेट दिस वैल्यू सो नाउ पुट द वैल्यू ओवर हियर वी एफ इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट जीरो जीरो वन P1, P1 is uh, take over here 28 and P2 is take 0.06 multiply with 100. So if you multiply with 100, you get directly value 2.79 kilo joule per kg Kelvin. So here you get this value of WP in this way. Now W net and we know the W net is WT minus WP. So WT is 89. 1.73 minus 2.79. Here you can see compare the amount of work which are produced inside the turbine is 891, and pump work is 2.79. So the value is very small. Small amount of work is required to run the pump. Comparatively, so in in these some some cases or in the some example, we neglect the pump work because comparatively turbine works its value is very. Very small. So we already see this thing in the Rankine cycle equation, where we neglect the pump work and we get the one more Rankine cycle relations, as efficiency relation. And due to this reason, because you can see the practically 2.79, so value is very small. So finally, W net is equal to W T minus W P, and we get the value 888.94 kilo joule per kg. Now, if we want to find out for cycle efficiency, we know efficiency is output upon input. And our output is W net, and input is heat supplied Q1. So W net and heat supplied Q1. Q1 is heat supplied inside the boiler. So it is H4 minus HF HF4 minus H1, or we can say H1 minus HF4. So W net divided by H1 minus HF4. W net we know 888.94 divided by H1 minus HF4. HF4 is 2802 and HF uh, sorry H1 is 2802 and HF4 value we get from this this relation also because HF3 is known HF3 is known 150 1.53 and so um, uh, this HF3 is come to uh, this side so uh, 2.79 plus 151.53. Is equals to H F four. So this value we get H one minus H F four, and finally we get the efficiency thirty three point fifty seven. So the work ratio. Second thing is work ratio W net upon W T is equals to point nine nine seven W net we know and W T turbine work is also known. So we get the ninety nine point seven. Sorry, point nine nine seven is a work ratio. Specific uh, steam consumption. So specific steam consumption is. Three six double zero divided by W net. So three six double zero divided by uh, convert into kilowatt hour. So that's why W net is eight 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 point nine four. So four, we get three six double zero divided by eight 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 point nine four is equal to four point zero forty nine kilogram per kilowatt hour. So here this is a very simple example. Uh, just to use the steam table and you can calculate very uh, easily and it is uh, maybe asked in the examination so where where are the, um, the main main inputs are required to um, understand the steam table where the data is extracted from the same and the pump work where you to use this equation this relation to find out the pump work and value of hf4 so this is a very simple uh, as compared to um, others and um, maybe you can get the uh, same value for uh, we can see the same example based on the rankine cycle